Hi everyone, good evening. It's 10 p.m. Thank you for logging in for our weekly Monday team call. I'm Janice, your host for today. So thank you everyone for being on time. We'll have people logging in from all over the world right now. So just to go through a little bit of housekeeping, every Monday night at 10, we'll SG Singapore timing, we'll be having our team call with total minutes of 30 minutes of social proof. The resources website that you can actually log into, it's actually onebigteaminternational.com. When a new member joins us, please remember to add them into the respective Facebook group, the closed group, yeah? So it's okay. The other thing is you can also subscribe to the One Big Team TV YouTube channel. And for all new members that join us, please go and download the Dream Trip app. It is like the most happening and our favorite app of all times, okay? You can get it on the App Store as well as on Android, yeah? Okay, next up. Once you have downloaded the Dream Trip app, what do you do? Of course, go surf for your welcome Dream Trip. Within 90 days as a new member, you'll be entitled to go for your welcome Dream Trip, yeah? Okay? And all the calls and webinars that we are doing will actually be recorded and archived into the OneBigTeamInternational.com website. Usually, give us a turnaround time of about one to two weeks. Two weeks later, you actually have the latest. Okay? So today, we are very, very, very honoured Today, we are very, very honoured to have our guest speaker all the way from Australia. Okay, We used to be a CEO in the health and wellness business, a very high-level coach. And he has been travelling all over the world. This guy, when I invited him to be our guest speaker for Team Call, he, just, he was actually on holiday, right? He was actually on a one-month holiday in Greece. So, without further ado, let us welcome Jordan. Hi, Janice. How are you? I'm good. What about yourself? Great, thank you. Look, thanks for the opportunity uh, to uh, speak to your team tonight. It's real. I'm very honoured to be able to do this. Yes, thank you. Thank you for staying awake and coming online there for all of us here. Okay, so to get things started, can I just check, how long have you been World Ventures? Uh, I've been in World Ventures now for 15 months uh, and it's been quite a journey so far. So yeah, 15 months uh, this month. Oh, okay. So happy 15th anniversary. So who sponsored you and why do you join World Ventures? Okay, so uh, a marketing director, his name is Travis Bell. Uh, Trav is actually personally sponsored by uh, uh, James and Eric Allen. Oh. So uh it's amazing that uh, we had that support when we started here in Australia. And uh, yeah, Trav basically showed me World Ventures over coffee. And to be honest, it was, uh, I don't even think he knew what he was talking about and either did I, but uh, we saw how powerful it was. And I was one of the very few people that decided to join on the very first time I was exposed to the business. Um. So I, I joined on the very first day. So very quick and decisive decision you made. It was. Yes. So can I just check? What did you do to get your fall and how long did it take you? That's a really good question because to be honest, uh, for about the first three months of my business, I actually uh, didn't know what I'd enroll for. So uh, I was showing the presentation. I decided to enroll and uh, about three months later, after I went to one of the trainings, I realized how powerful it was. Mm. And after that, I really decided to do uh, World Ventures. So to get my four, I pretty much was, uh, I used two on ones. And in fact, my first uh, enrollment, I was actually sitting in the dentist chair completely out. And uh, <laughs> my uh, Trav actually helped enroll my very first uh very first personal and uh, he's still with us today. He's doing really well. He's been on some dream trips. He works the business. So uh, I'm very grateful that he was the first person that saw the vision. Mm. And then after that, I started to enroll my family. My brother is almost a director. My mom and dad are both senior reps. Wow. So uh, helping with them. Uh, they're now traveling and having some fun with it as well. So they were my first four people to uh, waive my monthly fees. One good friend and the entire family. <laughs> yes. So, um, at what point do you realize that this would be it? World Ventures would be it for you, giving it your all? Yeah, it's a really good question. Um, I mean, before 
joining World Ventures, I, in my own right, I was actually very successful. I was earning good money. Um, I was just working, you know, ridiculous hours, about 80 hours per week. And, uh, you know, if nothing changed, obviously nothing was going to change. So I made a conscious effort to look into World Ventures, look into the business and how powerful it was. And that, for me, allowed me to make a decision that I was going to really decide to do World Ventures as, you know, one of my full-time incomes to allow me to, you know, really be able to do this in a full-time way, I guess. And I mean in a full-time way of, you know, maybe 15 to 20 hours a week, not 80 hours a week in my own company. So that's where I really decided to do that. And uh, from there, I haven't looked back since. Mm. So nothing changes if nothing changes, yeah? So what makes World Ventures so special for you? Um, well, it's... I love that question because we get it a lot when we're sitting down with people. And uh, I guess for me, I, I haven't actually come across a platform that allows us to live the lifestyle that we're able to do um, for something that's just, you know, a few hundred dollars that allows us to do this. So I haven't come across something that one, you're around the most amazing people. Mm. Two, you're able to go and see the world and start ticking things off and having amazing experiences. And three, ultimately have an online platform that allows you to get paid just by sharing this around the world. So I haven't seen it before. So that's what I guess is really special. But something that is uh, really close to my heart is mm. I get to do this entire business with my mom, my dad, and my three brothers. Mm. So we do it as a complete family. Uh, we're all building together. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty uh pretty special it's brought our family together closer than ever before which is very very cool mm, so other than like traveling together now you get to work on the same dreams chasing the doing the same platform so the family is more knitted and bonded together yeah it is yes okay so what kind of people do you enjoy working most with um that's, that's a really <laughs> good question i guess uh you know it comes back to everything right the ones that are very coachable and uh you know you don't have to coach the best people because they just coach themselves. But, you know, there are kind of people that you really, you can push each other. I mean, I've had people that I've enrolled into the business mm. who just push me to be better and better every day. I'm mm. always doing some sort of personal development, obviously never miss a training event. So they're the kind of people that I look for to help us become the best version of ourselves. So I look for reps that are very coachable, that are very hungry, willing to change, you know, not necessarily willing to put in 20 hours a week, but just a couple of really good hours a week to really develop themselves so that they can get better and really start to build their world ventures business as well. So I guess it comes down to duplication. Mm -hmm. but I really look for ones that are coachable, hungry, uh, and sort of have a similar drive to what I have doesn't always happen at the start, but they find it eventually once they go to some of the training events mm -hmm. uh, and be around some of our travel parties as well. So I really look for that uh, inside the organization. Mm. So getting them to stay close to the campfire, it's one way that we get them plugged into the system, right? Exactly. So actually my house uh, in Melbourne is called Dream Troops Headquarters. We, uh, we have, we have uh, you know, nightly travel parties here where, you know, a lot of teams come down and, and hang out. I live right in the middle of Melbourne, so we're right in the centre. So it's a great way for us to hang out, hang out together, go through a travel party together, practice and learn together. So that's something that we really pride ourselves on to allow us to create a really strong team bond. Mm, working and building with your family together with an extended family, yeah? Yep. So what's your ideal rep profile? Well, I look for... Uh, I look for people who are, are time poor. Um, I, I, I say this all the time. I, I'm looking always to recruit up. I'm, look, I'm not scared to go after, you know, high-end professionals because for them, uh, you know, time is the most value. They already have a circle of influence. Mm. So if we can, you know, share the information the right way and allow them to see the vision and they see that we have the knowledge Mm. They've got the contacts. So what we do is we utilize our time to be able to work through their contacts. So we've enrolled some uh, some pretty cool business guys who are very successful in their, their fields. But mm. again, they have no time. So uh, we help them build that to allow them to get some more time back. Mm. 
So mm. that's what I'm looking for. I guess I'm looking for uh, also people that are really willing to change their situation and be able to help others, you know, mm. at least go and experience some stuff around the world too. You know, when we sit down and have a presentation with someone and they say it's not for me, mm. but they really like the business, I said, well, hey, why don't you look at something bigger and do you think that you would be able to inspire 20 or 30 people to really mm. go and start ticking stuff off their list, have mm. some more experiences, and that changes their whole perception of, if they want to enroll in the business uh, and become a rep and really market the dream trips. Mm. Asking them if they think that they can inspire 20 to 30 people to change their lives. Okay, that's something new that I learned. Okay, and what do you, why do you think people follow you? Uh, no, that's actually a really good question. Um, I guess, you know, leaders uh, learning a lot from, you know, I have to, to pay a lot of credit to James Lee and, and Eric Allen for mentoring us. I guess, you know, they're obviously very successful in their right. So, you know, I've always had this model that just model what successful people do and mm. just follow what they do over and over and over until it eventually happens for you. So, you know, from the start, it was always enroll 30 personals mm. um, and not never stop enrolling personals. You know, a good leader will create spillover mm. and, you know, followers will wait for spillover. So, you know, that's what keeps me up at night, I guess, is, you know, trying to create spillover for the entire team. I'm not scared to keep enrolling personals. Mm. Obviously, I uh, never, you know, ever miss a training event because, mm. you know, none of the top leaders ever miss a training event. So why would we, if we were to aspire to be able to do what they're doing, um, obviously developing ourselves every single day, whether you're reading a book every day or listening to some sort of audio. Mm. I think the Advantage program is absolutely phenomenal. It allows us to plug in, be plugged in every single day outside of our training events mm. and always be there for, for that team. I mean, you know, this is like any other company. If you're there and you're able to, you know, answer your calls and send mm. the text back and reply to messages, you know, all the time that you're able to commit to the business, I think that makes a really big difference because people just want to be connected. So, mm. you know, we make a conscious effort. I'm not scared to give up my nights to be able to build this because as Marcus said, has said, you know, the times you really build this are Monday to Thursdays between 5 and 10 p.m. and all day Saturdays. So they're the times that I give up that mm. uh, allows us to really build this. And, uh, you know, we just follow again what successful people do. And, Leaders create other leaders and it's starting to really appear into our organisation now in just a really short time that we've been involved. That should be one of the biggest satisfaction, right? Yes, to have leaders coming up from your team. So, can I just ask a question if you don't mind? How many personals have you enrolled to date? Okay, so uh, I've actually enrolled 66 personals uh, uh, since I've started. Mm. Not all of those are... Uh, reps mm. okay there's a lot of lot of just members only mm. so uh, I've got a really good mix of, of reps um, that are members as well and mm. obviously just some members only so yeah we've gone uh, gone pretty hard on that and, and really uh, you know tried to get some people to see the vision like we have and, mm. and it's working really well yes the other thing we we're talking about was plugging into advantage so just a little heads up for the members that are listening in you can actually subscribe to advantage on in your back office and then you get 24 7 learning with all the top leaders around the world because advantage will consist of all the past training that has actually been directed by mark Asada and taught by mark Asada. so you can actually have access to all these trainings anytime anywhere 24 7 Okay, so if you want to know how to subscribe to Advantage, please can check with your leader. Yep, so Jordan, can I also check what makes a good leader? Well, again, it comes back to uh, obviously uh, doing the basic stuff right and mm. that's uh, obviously communicating really well with the team, addressing issues that, you know, arise because like any company, things are going to happen. So mm. you, know, you need to, to step up and, and really take ownership and, you know, again, everyone's business center is, is their own business center, but a lot of people need guidance to what they want to do. So just, you know, keeping it very professional, hold a high level of integrity because, you know, we want to create this around the whole world. So, 
you know, when you're looking at uh, that, again, the training systems, I talk about it so much. Like I've done a lot of personal development, even mm. outside of World Ventures. And to be honest, I haven't come across a training system like this mm. that allows us for, you know, a few hundred dollars every time to have access to amazing world-class trainers that have actually been and done what we've done. So that's something that I love about World Ventures. The training system is being with trainers who have actually been, you know, a zero, zero and really built it from the start as well, which is what I love. So the training and obviously developing their mindset every single day. Mm, yes, that's very, very different from the usual corporate world whereby we have trainers train us on things that they may not even have gone through themselves. Whereas in World Ventures, we actually learn from the top leaders that actually started from zero left, zero right, just like all of us, yeah? Okay, so can I check what are some of the funniest or unique situations that you have encountered during which you share World Ventures? <laughs> uh, I've had numerous ones, but uh, I guess one of the... the the funniest ones that I have had is uh, sitting down with someone, uh, with uh, one of our reps who's just hit director actually a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were sitting together and uh, basically taking someone through a presentation and uh, pretty much they didn't see the vision. They were mm -hmm. very negative. Uh, they, they completely cut us off. So what we did is uh, we actually just closed the laptop and started to walk out. Mm. And they actually followed us, started apologizing, ended up enrolling anyway because they felt sorry for us. But we said, look, it's okay. We don't, uh, you know, it's okay. We're, we're not offended. Mm. But they're like, no, 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 no. I didn't realize how serious you guys were with this. So we end up sitting down, enrolling them. So it went from a completely negative person mm. to doing a backflip and end up enrolling as a rep and a platinum member too. And now booking their first dream trip as well. All right. So there's, uh, there's been those, we've had, you know, events where we've literally had, you know, travel parties mm. with you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 seats and no one turn up. So we go through all that stuff too. That's just, that's just all part of the game. Uh, so yeah, I guess, you know, those, those kind of funny things are happening all the time. You know, you're always looking, you know, is, is the guest going to come? Is anyone going to come? So, you know, all these things are part of your journey as well. And you just learn from it every single time. Yes, we just got to grind through that, right? Because one day we'll find another James Lee. <laughs> 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 yes. So what was your easier sign up and why did the person sign up? Uh, well, actually, uh, one of the easiest sign ups was my brother, Elliot, um, mm. who's now on a, uh, a three month vacation through Europe and building. Um, so he was actually over in Greece when I was on the dream trip as well. Mm. He did a dream trip in Croatia. He's about to go to journey in a couple of weeks in Croatia, but uh, he was probably the easiest because, you know, he comes straight out of the military uh, and uh, you know, saw, saw a big vision for himself and something mm. that, uh, again, the personal development that he saw inside the training system, uh, obviously the dream trips and a way to have an online travel business was mm. he just ticked all his boxes. So he saw that vision straight away, ended up enrolling in, and uh, yeah, he's about five short from director right now, which is uh, which is very cool. He's uh, he's 26 years old and, and really actively doing the business as well, which is cool. He's only been in for uh, uh, about nine months now. Wow. So, yeah, he's doing very well. Okay, cool. So you have a whole family of ranks that everybody is climbing together, yeah? Okay, so if you have made one biggest mistake, what was that and how could we have avoided it? Yeah, really good question. I think, uh, you know, like everyone, uh, a big mistake that most people have is, you know, with what what adventures and dream trips it really is a gift to really change someone's life and mm. i didn't see that at the start it took me uh you know a good couple of months to realize that it wasn't just you know trying to sell anything to our friends it mm. was really a, an opportunity for them to you know if they want to be able to do the rep be really uh, something that they can build for a couple of hours a week to allow them to earn an extra you know maybe three to nine hundred dollars extra per month mm. you know as a minute for really training themselves up but obviously with the membership 
allow them to go and tick stuff off their list a hell of a lot faster, experience some dream trips, be around the amazing culture. So my mistake at the start was I just didn't show people fast enough. Mm. You know, uh, we, uh, we had Max Tay on, on the call the other night on our team call and, uh, you know, he was promoting the regionals for us, which is coming up here in Melbourne. And, you know, he's like, you know, SMPF, like show more people faster. So I guess, you know, I was a, a victim of that. I just didn't do that at the start. And uh, now I just can't show people quick enough. You know, I'm less like, all right, cool. Everyone's like, okay, next week. I'm like, no, 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 let's, let's do tomorrow or the next day. Like next week is too far away. Mm. So... I have that mentality with, with showing people faster, zero emotional attachment and just letting them see the information. If they get it, cool. If they don't, at least they know what I'm doing then and we can mm. always follow up and just working through. So constantly just going through that list faster than ever before was something that I didn't do at the start. Mm. But uh, something that I do do now is I rewrite at least 50 names every single month and I go through those as fast as I can in that first week. Um, to do that so they may have seen the information but I keep them updated on all the new updates with the app dream trips mm -hmm. local the things that are coming out to really uh, you know show them this is just developing more and more every single month mm. so even for people that you have shown before but they said no so you still follow up and give them the updates updated information yeah, so uh, I guess uh, I, I look at no's as not a no or it's, it's just maybe a not right now. So mm. I actually ask them permission all the time. Do you mind if I keep you updated on all the uh, the updates that are happening? Um, mm. Maybe go on like the Dream Trips page, the World Ventures page and keep up to date with all the, mm. the new information. Um, and that way then they stay connected even if it's not a right now. And uh, then I just ask permission do, I'm, do you mind if I follow you up every single month and just keep you updated to see where it's at? Because, you know, a lot can change in a month, a lot can change in six months, and a lot can change in a year. So, again, it's not always the right time for people, but we're constantly just following people up all the time. And that's, again, building rapport, building relationships, and that for us works really well because – not a lot of people join on the first time. Mm. Some people join the second time. And a lot of people, what we're finding, are joining on that third exposure, mm. um, whether it's been a travel party, webinar, they've just seen the banner on social media, um, whatever it is, um, to help them make that decision to get started and get enrolled. Mm. Okay, so hold up once in a while. Yes. So the other thing is a lot of reps actually go through frustration where we have sponsored people but these people do not move. So what is the one piece of advice that you can give to us? A really, really good question. I think, uh, you know, if, if someone really wants to build the business, then help that person, you know, at least get one person because mm -hmm. the power of that one person to allow them to score shows them that it works um, and it's going to really build their confidence. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if that happens and they're there like obviously the frustrations can be brought out by getting them in enrolled for the the uh, rtes or the, or the big events because then it takes the pressure off you so frustrations with uh i guess you know you can't really push people to to take action you don't want to be able to push people to take action but what you can do is create spillover for that person show them that hey, that this thing's working, just congratulate them every time someone's enrolled into their team. Mm. Um, because, again, a good leader will create spillover and the followers will just wait for spillover. But if they're constantly seeing that there's people inside their team, mm. that's one of the really strong motivations that allows them to go, hey, you know what, I'm going to start working this. I'm going to start adding to those people. Uh, I'm going to start building my other team. Mm. I want to start making some money, doing some cycles, whatever the you know fact, driving factor is. Mm. That's what's going to help. But we have it all the time. You know, not all of the people that uh, I've personally enrolled are working the business. You know, but it's, I know that they're sitting there. They won't quit because you know, just inside of them, it's going to really hurt if they decide to do that. Mm. Because I just explained to them that it just may not be the right time for you right now, but just don't lose that spot because, you know, that's something that can build, you know, for generations to come. So 
keep that spot and just when you're ready, let's do it. Let's go to the trainings. Let's learn. But frustrations happen to everyone. Mm. Plateau that you mentioned. Yes. Guys, plateau is, uh, is a mindset thing. Okay, we all go through it. So really develop your mindset. Even in the times that you go through, you know, the highs and lows, you've got to be excited every single day, even in a plateau. Um, personally, I went through 96 people that said no to me in a row. And, uh, you know, I was just as excited from that person that I showed in the first 96 as to the 97th person that I enrolled into the thing. And, again, that was just mindset to go, you know what, I've got to be excited every time because no one's going to buy from us if we're not excited about anything. So, mm -hmm. again, you know, the 96 people didn't see the vision. I think there's like 33 of those people have now enrolled into the business. All right. <laughs> right then, it just wasn't that time for them to be able to, uh, you know, make a decision right there. So mm -hmm. that, that for me is a really, really big one that we work on because we all go through plateaus, we all go through frustrations, but just build your mindset when you're up, you know, talk to your downline. And when you're down, just talk to your upline. It's as simple as that. Just start talking to, communicating with your team. Who can you help? Who can you talk to? Talk to other people. Like uh, I get a lot of help from Michael Sloggett. Mm. Uh, I get a um, lot of help from, you know, some of the other leaders around the world, which, you know, that's one of the things that I love about World Ventures is there's just an unlimited support of mm. people around the world that can help us regardless if they're in our team or not. Yes, that's the one big team spirit, yeah? And our ventures culture. Yep. So for new members that are just starting out, what are your top three recommendations for them? Really good question. Uh, I would stay very close with the person that enrolled you. Mm. Uh, if, if you like them, that's not always the case, but if you <laughs> like them, then uh, definitely stay close with them and do some two-on-one -on -one presentations together to really mm. build your confidence up. Mm. Uh, I would stay very close to the campfire, attend your weekly meetings, mm. attend you know, travel parties. Even if you don't have guests, go there anyway. Learn what that presenter's talking about so that you can get comfortable. Mm. Uh, again, as soon as you get enrolled, just get your new rep to do two things. Book the next training event and book a dream trip too, mm. um, especially the welcome dream trip because – as we know, no one really leaves once they've taken a welcome dream trip. So just get on that welcome dream trip. And, you know, if, you know, I don't, I don't say this all the time, but if they can't afford a platinum membership and the business, just get a gold membership, but put the rest of the money into the training event because mm -hmm. they're going to upgrade at the training event anyway. They're going to see what it's all about. So, you know, at least get them to, do that because it's going to cut their, their time where they're going to be away from the business or they may quit um, by at least going to a training event so they can really upskill themselves. So, yeah, the first one would be just two-on-ones with your sponsor. Go to your weekly meetings mm. and then, you know, really just get to the training and book that welcome dream trip. Like I, we say it all the time, but, guys, you've got to get yourself on a dream trip because it's so easy to talk about once you've been on a dream trip. Yes, it's like a definitely seller, yeah? So two things, book your next training event and book a dream trip. Yes, so thank you, thank you so much for coming online today. We have kind of come to the end. But before we end, let me just run through some other things. So we have heard a lot about going for, dream tra going for trainings and trainings and trainings. So what is the next event that is coming up, yeah? Okay, we're going to have Odana. Yes, okay. So we're going to have the mixed major event. We'll actually be viewed from the age in Asia, 23rd to 25th September in Kuala Lumpur, Shah Alam. We like sold out 10,000 tickets in less than three hours. So although the tickets are sold out, your leaders will definitely have gotten some extra tickets. So those of you who have not booked yourself on, any, on this event, please kindly approach your leaders and you'll be able to get the tickets from them, yeah? Okay, next up. Hey, the other event that is coming to a country near us, or which we call the regional training event, that is happening on 30, 13th of August in Singapore. We're going to have IMD Raymond as well as Buffy. And in Kuala Lumpur, we're going to have Rainer and Sashin, the youngest IMD in World Ventures. In Penang, we will be having our first ever Mandarin speaking regional training event by Angelica and Millie. In Hong Kong, we have Fan Hong and Wes Melcher who will be training. In Perth, we're going to have James, our Asia number one, as well as Bill. In Melbourne, we're going to get Max Tay 
and Shane Anderson, the latest IMD in Australia. In Gold Coast, we're going to have Gary, who's going to train together with George. In Sydney, we're going to get Stravos and Kim. And one week later, on the 21st of August, we're going to have Jefferson Santos and Jet Toe training in Taipei. This is indeed going viral because it's like, you know, one day we have all the regions and all the different countries training at the same time. Yep. So, yes, and our next big team call, we are very honoured to be invited, having invited Apple, who is our ex-auditor, ex-auditor in the global top four companies. She used to work 80 hours a week, just like Jordan was saying just now. However, now she's semi-retired at 32 years old. Don't kill me for revealing your age. I wasn't the one that do the slide, so sorry. She started World Ventures as a foreigner in Singapore without much friends, but she will be going on the team call on next, month, next Sunday for the Mandarin speaking one. She's actually on the RMD trip currently and just celebrated her birthday yesterday in style. Okay, so um, on 7 August, Sunday, 10 p.m. Singapore timing, this is the webinar ID 198-477-272. For the Mandarin team call. Next up for next Monday, English team call, we're going to have director Cassandra Lee, who used to be an ex real estate top producer, earning her first $1 million previously. However, because of the time that she puts into a real estate business, she actually lost the first five years with her child. As a mom, I can understand the pain that if I have to, you know, not spend time with my kid for the first five years. And then she actually hit director in 100 days after joining World Ventures. She always tells us she missed the director bonus by a little bit. But of course, she gains lots of friends and the business grow from there. Okay? So next Monday, tune in on the 8th of August. The webinar ID is 182-563-353. Okay? So with that, we have actually come to the end of our team call. Thank you, everybody, for participating. Thank you very much, Jordan, for staying online and staying awake, sharing with us all your nuggets. I'm sure everybody has learned a lot from here. Thank you. We'll see you around at the next tra training. Yes. Thanks, Janice. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Have a Pleasure great night. to have you. Yes, thank you, everybody.